So there's a clinic in Georgia that provides gender affirming care that had a fire in October of last year. And now the FBI is investigating it as a possible hate crime. What's worse is that Ken Paxton, the attorney general from Texas, just days after the fire swooped in and was asking for the patient records. You probably already know, but Texas banned gender affirming care for minors last September. So immediately this clinic, Queer Med, even though they typically see patients from across the country, stopped being able to provide care for youth from Texas. This sent families scrambling to cross state lines to seek out their care. And rightfully so, Dr. Izzy Lowell, the head of Queer Med, called this move exactly what it is, intimidation. It's not just about preventing people from crossing state lines to get the care that they need, it's also trying to scare the providers and the families who dare to seek out that care. The Decatur Fire Department's lips are sealed tighter than a bank vault on this one. It was an anonymous tip that led a local reporter to the scene of the fire in the first place and they're only just now admitting that the fire was intentionally set. Attacks on clinics, whether they provide abortion care or gender affirming care, are not just acts of violence. They are cold, calculated intimidation tactics, both to the providers and the patients. Queer Med is not backing down. They're still seeing patients virtually and in a statement to Now This said that they are saddened and furious, but they will not be bullied. They're standing their ground to fight for the rights of their transgender and non-binary patients, including not handing over their patients' records.